What's up you guys and welcome to the next episode of Tales of Asperia on RT Online. In the last episode, we did a lot. Holy crap, we found out who the true villain was all along and we went after him. We found out the Yormden got destroyed, which is pretty bad. And I failed to cook sorbet. Hold on, uh, Mindstrom soup, cook. Uh, uh, okay, well I can't think while I'm trying to cook. Anyways, yeah, a lot of stuff happened. Go watch that last episode, it was really good. I want to get started in this because I heard that this Bactian place takes a while to get through. And it might take multiple episodes, so I just want to get started right away. Sorry about not having a recap for the last episode. I just, I want to get a move on. Ah! Oh man, already a lot of enemies. Uh, I don't want an in surprise encounter, so I'll run right into them. There we go. You're not coming up to me from behind. That's rape. And you're not raping. Wait, Carol's in the party? Well, that's got to change in a second. Let's see, who else do we have? We don't have a Stell and Raven, which are actually some of our best fighters. Uh, should I put Rapide in instead of Carol? I think I'm going to do that. Rapide's actually a really good fighter. Better than Carol, in my opinion. Ah, oh, I wasted that TP. Okay, since we don't have a Stell, we got to be a lot more careful because our healer is now gone. That's That makes me pretty sad. Also, another reason why I didn't want her to die, because then we'd lose our healer. But she's also a great character. Oh, we gotta get her out of here. We may be a small guild now, but we'll make it big. We are brave Vesperia. You're killing me. <laughs> nice. There's a lot of interesting interactions with this team. Uh, hmm. Repeats our only other one. He's a higher level than Carol, so I think he'll be. Now that we have a rounded team, we're all 35. Carol's a bit underleveled. But it's okay. We'll just keep moving. The heck is that sound? Did you guys hear that? Oh, never mind. All these rooms look the same. I wonder if they're all like this. Oh, it's a lawnmower outside. Well, that's gonna get annoying. I'm gonna go check out what's ahead. Repeat. We don't really have time to be dawdling. It's okay, relax. That lawnmower is going to get so annoying. <clears throat> As we thought, the rooms all look the same from here on out. Repeat's sense of smell doesn't seem to be working too well here either. I see. We can't afford to get lost in here. Here, use these. Let's make a map as we go. Y you're always so well prepared. Carol, can you do this? Yeah, I'm good with maps. Leave it to me. We'll be in a lot of trouble if you mess up, you know. D don't say that. Come on. Everything will be fine, probably. <gasps> a dungeon map? Whoa, shit. That happened out of nowhere. But, dude, we got a dungeon map. Is this our first dungeon? Holy shit. We're pretty late in the game for that to be happening right now. Oh, God. I need to heal my teammates. Oh, crap. Without a stell, things are pretty bad. I need to be more careful. Whoa! Oh, that wasn't good. Get him, repeat. Nice. Okay. Nice. Use that apple jaw on yourself. That's a good idea. Um. Let's see. Lemon gel. Yeah. Don't worry. I'll heal you guys after battle. I don't have time for that right now. We gotta kill these guys. Damn it, lawnmower! Shut up. I know you're mowing grass, but shut up. Let's go. Why do lawnmowers have to be so loud? Yeah, I'm gonna sound nuts if you guys can't even hear that in the... What the fuck? Is that an Entelikea? I'm not even gonna worry about that right now. Uh, Apple gel! There we go. Carol doesn't need to get healed. I'm gonna fight that! I probably should have stunned it with my sorcerer's ring. Holy crap, it's like a majestic unicorn! A unicer... Oh, it is like a unicorn. Okay, well I'm gonna use a magic lens on it. Oh, okay. It's not too bad. For a minor enemy, it's pretty bad, though. Oh, he's trying to poke me. One, two. Nice. Whoa, it could shoot its horn out, too? What can't this thing do? Well, I'm focusing my... Oh, crap. It jumped over my attack. Here I go. Oh, it doesn't even have a guard. Okay. Well, for a minor enemy, you're dead. <laughs> And then there's these clones. They got smaller tails than the tadpoles. Yeah, they, they look like clones, but 
probably not, but still are. I don't I don't understand the clones anymore. I want to get to the Commandant and kill him, because that's who the main enemy is. Whoa, no, 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 no. All of our other enemies are dead, when he was the one controlling them the whole time. I was wondering why Qmore was showing so much mercy when he was dying. I mean, I know he's a coward, but I think that makes a lot of more sense. He was just following orders from Alexei. I mean, and Alexei's pretty scary. He probably would have killed him. Alright, so I'm getting a lot of Mystery Dungeon vibes now that we got the BF and, like, the map on the top. So whenever we go into a room, we'll have it access on our map so we know which rooms that we went in, which will be very helpful. But also pretty scary because I know that this place is going to take a while. So let's get out of here. On to the next room. There's nothing over there. And now we know where the doors are going to be, so we, we have a clear path straight for us whenever we enter a room. I'm not going to fight that unicorn again. <clears throat> I'm, I'm going to skip a few enemies because I don't want to die, and this lawnmower is really loud. Oh, yeah. Is that an, uh, this one's tough. it's not an advantage encounter. Whoa, these are Imperial Knights. They're not the Royal Guard, which is weird. Because you think the Royal Guard would be following the Commandant personally, but it looks like the Imperial Knights are still under his order, which makes sense. You know what? I'm really curious about what happened to Yoder, though. It sounds like something bad happened. Uh, they're not telling us what. They're just being very vague about it. You know what I wish that happened right now is that if we went into the perspective of Flynn, because there's a lot of stuff going on with him right now, and I wouldn't mind seeing it. But we're going to be sticking with Yuri this whole time, so I'm not complaining. I mean, we've been with Yuri throughout the story. It'd be weird if we weren't in his perspective. Okay, we have two different doors to go through. I say we go this way because we'll get attacked if we go the other way. Aha! A save point! Yes, and it heals us too. That lawnmower is going to be the death of me. Seriously, that is so loud. And my window's closed. It sounds like it's open. All right, here we go, into the next room. Well, what's that? Whoa. Okay, maybe we light all of them. Yeah. Did it, okay, it didn't do anything. Let's go this way. Stop it, lawnmower. The grass isn't that vast. Haha. <laughs> Aw, I thought I could keep stunning them. That was kind of fun. Ooh, advantage encounter, right at the last second, too. Yeah, Ghost Wolf. No, I don't. Don't tell me if I like that. It's just a stupid thing to say in battle. Because you know they don't like it. It's stupid to say. Just don't say anything at all, you knights. You don't even have a face. You don't even have things to look at outside of your helmet. How do those helmets even work? Those helmets make no sense. And these mages have hoods over their eyes. Is everyone just blind in the army? Jesus. That's a lot of war injuries for every single soldier. But Yuri and Flynn aren't blind. They're the only smart ones. Whee! Nightwater, Grimoire Page. Ooh! Judith got a new skill. Actually, that reminds me. I want to go check um, Judith's equipment because she got Dragoon Boots, remember? Hold on. Ooh! What does that do? Okay, it increases her defense. Where's the boots? There they are. Huh, it gets the magic down, but it really increases the defense. Okay, well now she can take more hits. Let's see if she's got any better weapons. Ooh, combo plus, death scythe. Um, you know what? I'll get death scythe. It's got some good, uh, good skills to it. Uh, purple ribbon, circlet. Let's go to Yuri instead. I haven't looked at Yuri's stuff in a while. Wow, he's got a lot of stuff. Battle suit, nope. Straw hat, ooh, mithril helmet. Yeah, that does a lot. So now I have good, whatever. Black leather, spine ripper. Is it about time to change weapons? Super chain four, maximum guard plus. Those skills aren't very good. Uh, I'll keep the Spine Ripper for now. I don't think I've gotten all the skills on it yet. I'll check later. You, you get an advantage encounter. That's my gift to you, bastard. Okay, so there's no more Royal Guards. What gives? 
Are they all just down there with the Commandant? Which would make sense. I mean, the farther down we go, the more protection he'll have. Because he's scared of us. Because, you know, it's the Commandant. Even though he's really strong, he has a possibility of dying. And his plans can fail if he dies. And that's what we want to happen. Whoa, the mage is healing people. Nice with the arts, Yuri. And the mage is dead because of Judith. Great job, Judith. You're uh, you're increasing our range of attack. Okay, let's go. Man, this is a great party. Even though we don't have our healer, it's nice to have Rapide back in battle. Ooh, limit bottle. That could be useful. Wait, whoa, new. These aren't new. I've had these before. Um No, not lemon gel, apple gel on Rapide. There you go. I'm not going to waste my lemon gels yet in case we're in a dire situation, which I feel will happen very soon. Ah, we're on the second floor. We're making progress. Whoa. What do those lanterns do? Ah! Ah! This way! Oh, I missed one. Should I go back? Sh should I? Nah. Aha, another lantern. 8,000 gold? Sweet. I haven't bought anything in a while, though. Well, now I have to go back and light it. What do these even do? Ah! Get away! Whoa. This room's huge. And there's nothing in it. Except for a door. This dungeon is huge. Bactian, what is this? A fortress or something? I mean, I would know that Heracles is here, but what else would they need to protect besides the Commandant? There was something here before. This looks abandoned, so... I felt like it was used in the Great War. Most abandoned things have been. I should, I should stop skipping so many enemies. But what is that? What is this? What is this a statue of? This is a temple, after all. This is probably a statue of whatever deity the temple was dedicated to. You know, it might just be a statue of the Entelikea we saw outside. Huh? It couldn't be. I mean, a monster, that is... It's a... But they don't even look alike. No, I think it's possible. The Entel the Chaos power is beyond those of humans and can speak in our language. It's not strange to think that humans would have worshipped them in ancient times. The relationship between the Entel the and the humans might be closer than we thought. Maybe they drifted apart during the long passage of time, eventually leading to the situation we find ourselves in now. I think I prefer the distance we have now to the cozy relationship we had back then. <laughs> oh, why is Carol suddenly scared of the Entelikea? He ran into Bellius. Not all Entelikea are scary. Ooh, another save point! Even though we don't really need it. Ah, damn it, I feel like I wasted those apple gels again. But hey, it's another save point. At least we know that one's nearby. And if we ever need to go back and end the episode, we know where one is. Wow, this dungeon map is very helpful. Uh, no, I'll, I'll fight you, double encounter, Watch my back. Oh, oh wait, I thought that would be an encounter link, how come those never happen anymore, it'll do the shard of glass that goes through a line between them, but it doesn't say encounter link, it hasn't said that for a while, ooh, stunned him, there we go, that's one, what the hell are these things anyway, rabios, oh that's cute, like rabbits, but not. Whoa, they already killed the unicorn? Seriously? Wow. Good job, you guys. That's one. I don't know why. I feel compelled to light these. I don't even know what they do. Hopefully I find out soon. Alright, we have two paths again. I'm gonna go to the right. Aha! Another lantern! There's probably another one in here somewhere. Yep, I knew it! There's always two in the rooms. Ah, oh, there's the Royal Guard. Haven't seen you guys for a while. Royal Guard and Imperial Knights. This is crazy. It's the Royal Guard. That has to mean we're on the right track. Heck yeah. Good call, Carol. Estelle's gotta be back there somewhere. We don't have much time. Let's make this quick. Ah, battle! Ah, oh, it's just a Royal Guard. What am I scared of? Nothing! There are quite a few of them this time, and we don't have our healer. Hmm, it's tempting, but I'm gonna use it! Alright, let's test out our burst darts! No, don't use that. 
Uh, let's go after you. Wait, no. And there you go. Ah, oh, come on, you interrupted it. Wow, what a butt. That was kind of a waste of an overlimit. It is kind of hard to pull it off when you have more than one target. I think it's meant to be used on bosses, so I'll save it. And if I need my overlimit, I have a limit bottle, so don't worry, you guys. I didn't waste it for nothing. Well, that was kind of for nothing, but hey, at least I'm remembering to use it. Or remember, yeah, remembering how to use it. That's over. Yay! Rita leveled up. Sweet! This is... a barrier that's been locked up somehow with an encrypted formula. Can you open it? It uses an ancient technology that's barely been studied at all. That's how you know that there's something important behind there. Even I've only seen something like this in books. I couldn't even guess how long a thorough analysis might take. I'm guessing we can't just force our way through. Locks usually aren't placed on anything that's easily broken into. Yeah, you're right. Wait, how do you think Alexei got through here? He probably forced the lock using Estelle's... the power of the Child of the Full Moon. Which means he made her use her power again. <sighs> Someone's here. Duke, <gasps> why are you here? You, how is the young lady, the child of the full moon? Alexei's got her somewhere up ahead. I see. So he has made his move. Are you here because of him too? The air crane in this region has become severely imbalanced. I have come to restrain it. By restrain? You mean you actually have a way to do that? To quiet the air crane, the cause of the imbalance must be removed. Just come out and say it. You mean kill Estelle. That's enough. What is it with blaming all the world's problems on a single girl? An unstable child of the full moon cannot be ignored. You're as hard-headed as Pharaoh. I thought as a human you'd see things differently. Our common bond as humans is nothing. A single life cannot be privileged over the fate of the world. Yeah, never mind that without a bunch of those single lives, there'd be no world. Listen, she may be a bumbling, sheltered excuse for a princess, but she's one of ours. She's none of your concern, so back off! Do you say that knowing just how great a threat her existence poses? What we know has got nothing to do with it. Our motto is always do what's right. And if that means having to get up close and personal with you, then so be it. Oh, the no. time has come to show me the resolve that so impressed Pharaoh. I have to fight him? Wait, this what? This is Dane Nomos. It is the only manner in which the air may be quieted, raise it, and calm your mind. The sword will take care of the rest. Oh, I like this outcome better. I got his weapon. Dane Nomos. Duke, wait! Dane Nomos. That's the name of the sword of the Imperial line that's been missing all this time. What are you doing with it? Why does something like that have the power to control the air? Who are you? The answers to those questions are not what you should be seeking now. Go, before you are too late. Soon, you will learn for yourselves the true weight of the burden borne by the Entelechea. Before I watch that skit, I want to equip this sword if it's mine now. <laughs> Wait, uh, they know most, they know most, they know most. There it is! Holy crap! Yes! I got Duke's sword! Yes! Okay, so just who is Duke anyway? Dane Nomos, the child of the full moon, the resolve that impressed Pharaoh? Just who the hell is this Duke guy? Well, judging from what he says, it seems he's in contact with Pharaoh. And he has the sword Prince Yoder's been looking for. I don't like this. Yeah, but why would he just lend us something as important as De Nomos? I thought he was stubborn, but maybe he's actually willing to listen to reason. I wouldn't get my hopes up about that. 
don't we have more pressing concerns to worry about? Yeah, let's hurry. I'm actually really happy that we don't have to fight Duke. That would have been horrible. I mean, I know we fought giant monsters before, but sometimes humans can be scarier than giant monsters. I've learned that much. So now we're going behind the door that was locked, and it's more dungeon. But at least it means we're on the right track. Uh... I'll use it in battle later. I don't want to fight a unicorn. I just want to get ahead right now. Yeah, light, lit, the, lit the lanterns. Is that it? Oh, no, there's one more. Ah! Okay, fine. I, I'll test it out on these guys. Holy crap, look at that power. Oh, no. Repeat! No. It looks like we need another save point that heals us. Oh, there's that lawnmower again. Damn it, it came back. The lawnmower of Bactian. <laughs> no. No. Oh, why didn't that do anything? You missed. Is it because he's really small? We all got cool weapons. All right, it's lit. Now let's go to this door. Jeez, it's a good thing we have this map so I know which door I came from. That's a thing that always confused me. I can't believe this is Dane Nomos, the proof of an imperial succession. Yuri, you can't become the emperor. This is just for decoration. I wouldn't want to be the emperor even if I could. Duke went around using that sword to control Air Krene. Oh, so Duke's doing the same thing as the Entelikea. Maybe so. That sword it produced the same phenomenon as Estelle did. Maybe the Rizomata formula was already worked out once before? But then, why was that information lost? Maybe it's related to the Cataclysm, like the way the Blastia was lost. Why did that become an Imperial treasure? There are tons of things we don't know about this sword, but let's wait to figure them out until we settle things here. Right now, rescuing Estelle is our top priority. Right, let's hurry. But first, let's light the lanterns. Even though I don't know what they do, it's fun lighting them. There's another one. And there's a hole in the wall. So I guess we only have one way to go. You know, that cutscene would have been really weird if we hadn't equipped Dane Nomos to us yet, because he'd be looking at the Spine Ripper and be like, I can't believe this is Dane Nomos. Unless that cutscene automatically had this sword in our hands. I don't know who wouldn't equip this sword. It's awesome. Uh, Nah, I don't want to fight you guys. Let's go! Because we're going to go overtime pretty soon. Oh, another treasure chest? Mithril Gauntlet? Whoa! I'll equip that later. No, 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 no. I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. No, 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 no. I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. Thank you. Okay, I gotta stop avoiding these fights now. It's starting to look like I'm gonna miss a lot of experience if I keep doing that. Okay, I'll fight you. Test out our day nomos on these knights, bitches! Look at that, 600 damage for one hit now. Was that, was that Rapid who did that moon strike? That was cool. Ooh. Oh, no, it was, um, it was Judith. Okay, that makes sense. Nice! Rita's magic is so helpful. No, I can win, you bitch. Ow. Oh no, they got the mages. <laughs> you healed a dead person. That's not how it works. You gotta use a life bottle if you want to bring your comrade back to life, bitch. Ha <laughs> ha. Thanks, Rita. Quit wasting your TP. There we go. Oh, God. Is there another lantern? No! Ah, uh, I didn't see that guy. Alright, Rita, I'll eliminate them. Sheesh, man. There you go. Whoa, she got a new spell. What is it? Whoa, what's she doing? Blade roll? Whoa! That's awesome! Okay. She's gonna start using that from that one, right? These Royal Guard guys actually do have a lot of health, I've noticed. Stalagmite! Woo! Fatal Strike. What a way to end the battle. And we're getting lemon gels, too. Jeez, this dungeon's really long. Is this a dead end? Nope. This is actually where we started, right? No, I don't think so. Let's go up. Whoa. Okay. Now we could go through here. 
Oh, okay, so we had to go back to the first floor to make some progress, and now we're... Now we're getting somewhere. I'm sorry if this goes a bit too much over time. I really want to get through Bactian as fast as possible. Because I heard this is going to be a tough one. Whoa. Oh, okay, it lights our way now. It's, it's a bit obvious, but... I don't see why we need it. I can see just fine. Maybe we need to light them all for a puzzle. Nice, nice, nice. There's another one. Okay, one more. Is that it? Yay! Okay, so they go out after a certain time, so there's no real purpose of lighting every single one. Ah! Mm hmm, hmm. Okay, we are definitely overtime at this point. But that's okay, I think there's a save point very soon. Because look at this room, it looks suspicious. Lantern! <laughs> the lantern lit Bactian. And there's a save point. Okay, this is where we're ending this journey. We'll continue the rest of the search in Bactian in the next episode. Hopefully we could find Estelle then. But until then, see you all next time!